So this is lesson four in the Buzz Touch Essentials learning path. Um, lesson four is all about things that you will need when you start making iOS and Android apps. So most importantly, um, enthusiasm, patience, and relationships. Relationships with other developers is invaluable. And so enthusiasm and patience, I know that sounds a little cheesy, um, but the fact is, is every single mobile developer um, will run into problems, roadblocks, snags, their code won't work, things will go wrong, and enthusiasm and a little patience will take you a long ways. So lots and lots of people, hundreds of thousands of people are learning how to do this just like you, so don't be too concerned um, when something goes wrong. You'll figure your way through it. Relationships, having relationship, relationships, meaningful relationships with other developers um, at your skill level and beyond your skill level, and even people who are um, less skilled than you is, is incredibly powerful. Um, fortunately, the Buzz Touch community is um, thriving and growing, and you want to do what you can to, to meet people just like you. So enthusiasm, patience, and relationships is the most important thing to have when you get started making mobile apps. So for iOS, there's some things that you'll need um, that you may have heard of already. So you'll need a Mac that's running um, the Intel processor. You can't use an older Mac, a PowerPC Mac, so an Intel-based Mac. You'll need a piece of software called Xcode, which is a free download. Xcode is, is the integrated development environment that iOS um, developers use. You'll need the iOS SDK, which is a free download. It's the software developer kit that we use in conjunction with Xcode um, to make iOS apps. And then you may need an iOS developer account. Most people do because they want to make software that actually gets distributed. Um, but a lot of people get started without creating an iOS developer account, and that's perfectly okay. For Android, it's a little bit different, but almost the same. Um, you can use a Mac or a PC for Android. Um, you can use a, you'll, you'll need to use a piece of software called Eclipse, which is like um, Xcode in iOS. We use Eclipse um, to organize our project and compile our source code. We'll, we'll need the Android SDK, which is a free download. The Android Software Developer Kit works inside of Eclipse. And then you may need a Google Play developer account or an Amazon developer account or an account um, at an app store that will help you get some publicity and distribute your apps. You do not need a Google Play or a, an um, Amazon or account to distribute Android apps, but it, but it is um, very common and real popular. So this is a quick look inside of Xcode. Um, Xcode is a download that you get from um, Mac's app store. It is free, and if you remember um, our previous lesson when we built our first application, we used Xcode to compile our source code and run it on the simulator. So I'm showing it here now again um, just to make sure that you understand and just um, the simplicity of it, really. A lot of people um, want to overcomplicate Xcode. It does do a lot of things, but so do all the other applications on your Mac computer. Xcode is organized a lot like iTunes and iPhoto and all those other Apple family of applications. Um, it's got menus and it's got graphical buttons and it's got um, a layout that's, that should be very comfortable to you. Yes, um, you might get a little overwhelmed at first and that's completely okay, but the bottom line is, is you'll get used to it um, and lots of people do struggle like you, so don't be too concerned about it. Um, when you download it and install it, this is what it'll look like after you open up a project. So that's what Xcode looks like. So let's go to um, the Apple developer site in our browser so you can see what that looks like. So this is the download screen for Xcode. If you want to become an Apple developer and choose to pay the $99 a year, um, you get some benefits. You will need to do this if you want to install your software, your applications on devices, including your own device. If you don't become a developer, a registered Apple developer, you'll only be able to run the apps in the simulator, which is okay and a great way to get started, but eventually you'll want to you'll put them on some devices for testing. You'll also be able to distribute applications in the App Store, which is very popular, and of course everybody's heard of the App Store. Um, if they like your application and they accept it to their App Store, then becoming an iOS developer um, suddenly makes a lot of sense because you'll get some downloads and maybe sell some apps if you're selling them. The program enrollment for the App Store um, or excuse me, for the iOS developer account. Um, it's pretty simple. You register, you pay them $99 a year. Um, it takes them a day or two. Sometimes it, they can even do it in the same day. And then what you get is a login 
to the iOS Developer Center. So the iOS Developer Center, I've logged in here as myself. Um, this is where we iOS developers manage our applications and we do things like provisioning our applications and iTunes Connect is where we go to create new applications and upload them and prepare them for distribution. So reviewing um, the iOS requirements, we need an Intel-based Mac, we need Xcode, which is a free download. We probably want to register as, the, as an iOS developer. And then we probably want to um, use the iOS Developer Center to distribute our applications. So this is what the Eclipse integrated development environment looks like. Again, Eclipse is what we use to um, organize our Android projects and compile our Java source code into an Android app. So this is the same project, um, the Monterey Harbor project that we created in the Your First App lesson, the previous lesson. And you can see the, all of the different Java source code files and you can see um, a lot of the different parts and pieces necessary to make it an Android app. And so I wanted to show you Eclipse um, just so you could get a look at what it looked like after you got it running. And so for some people like myself, um, we, we find ourselves constantly comparing Eclipse to Xcode, Xcode being the iOS integrated development environment. And there are a lot of similarities, but there are some um, very large differences. Personally, I think Xcode is a little bit more polished and a little bit easier to use and a little bit easier to understand. Um, but not everybody does. Um, Eclipse works well and it's used by hundreds of thousands of developers to do all different kinds of programming projects, not just Android projects. So we can explore our Android project inside of Eclipse, um, and we use Eclipse to compile our Java source code. So let's go to the browser here, and I'll show you where what the Eclipse download page looks like, because a lot of people get confused here. What you'll want to do is just Google Eclipse Downloads, and what you'll want to do is download Eclipse um, IDE for Java developers, this top one. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I have the Mac choices. If you're on a PC, it'll say Windows. Um, but go ahead and download Eclipse, and after and, and unlike Xcode, it's it's not a very big download. It only take a little bit of time. After you download Eclipse, you'll also need to download the Android SDK. So just Google Android SDK, and download the appropriate package. Um, there's a Windows package and a Mac OS X package. Um, what you'll you'll end up doing is you'll you'll download and and, and launch Eclipse and then you'll configure the Android SDK inside of Eclipse. Um, so that's how that will work. In fact, let me go back to Eclipse and show you how that looks. So inside of Eclipse, we have um, different Android tools. And so these Android tools, this is my simulator manager, or my virtual device manager. Um, this is my Android SDK manager where all of the different parts of the SDK are organized. Um, Eclipse and Android, are, or the Android SDK is designed to work inside of the Eclipse environment. So let's go back to um, where we were. So after you download Eclipse and the Android SDK, then you'll want to go to the Google Play um, webpage and become a Google Play developer if you want to use the Google um, Play distribution channel. This used to be called the Google, um, excuse me, the Android Market. We're still getting used to this, this big change they, they dropped on us a few weeks ago. But that summarize, summarizes what you'll need for Android. Um, a Mac or a PC, Eclipse, which is a free download, the Android SDK, and probably a Google Play developer account.